your mechanic, Carol. I will never forget, and I do have to get this in because I wanted to, I wanted to get it in my review, but for some reason, I got too long. That um, when we had that mishap with the clams, that it, they didn't fit. Remember wow. that we called Juan Pablo. He offered, "Where are you? I will go and take you a clam." And I was like. I was like, no, we're, we're in the new Smyrna. It's, it's not going to happen. But just, and, and it didn't just happen. Just the offer. Just the offer. The thought that, that. I appreciate that. To me, it was like, who does that? So today we are with uh, Mrs. Soraya and Mr. Curly. Uh, we're basically going to ask them some questions because they come from a completely different industry. They are from a banking industry and it basically comes from a completely different industry. It's not construction related. So how do you get into this business, Mrs. Oray? I mean, you, you've never been in, uh, you, you don't look like a country company. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Actually, um, we were approached by um, a neighbor on a party okay. uh, who um, mentioned that because um, I'm, I work in the banking industry but I've been wanting to get out of the corporate environment for a while. Okay. I was looking for something to do. My husband was looking for something else to do as well to expand. Right. And um, he said construction is coming back to Florida. Uh, you guys ever thought about a concrete pump? I've never heard that in my life. So we said, what is a concrete pump? So he went to explain. Uh, what a concrete pump does, and uh, I was like, oh, that's very interesting, but when he kind of said, oh, uh, this is, you know, the price, I was like, oh, that's a bit pricey. Right, um, right. So we just let it sit there for a while until we started researching and we found you guys, right. found you guys, and uh, came here and started researching. I come from real estate and mortgage, so I know. So, so, so you come with a real estate background, mortgage background, and you work in the banking industry. Correct. So, completely, completely unrelated. Completely unrelated, <laughs> but I can see construction uh, growing. Of course, like yeah. back in you know before the mortgage crisis, it was right. growing a lot. Right, 2006, 7, huh? 2005, 7, exactly. So I was like, well, this is growing a lot, and I thought about going back to um, real estate again, but been there, done that. This seemed like something very interesting. And we just talked about it and said, hey, let's go for it. Um, so it's money there. And money's so, a big so motivator. You were, so I was just going to say, <laughs> so your biggest motivator was money. Money and, and of course, um, something new. It's, it's always interesting. Of course, to new, and exciting, new and exciting money. Yeah. But, but I tell you, uh, I think the money part of this industry, the concrete pumping industry, is very good. Very I mean, good. a lot of people uh, don't understand it very well, but once you, once you get a hold of you know, a grasp of how to do this thing, I think you can you can get to make a lot of money. Correct, and right. it all started, you know, like, oh, you know what, it sounds interesting, let's right. look into it. We came here just looking, and within two weeks, we were buying the money together, and <laughs> buying, and into it, and... So, so, so you started doing research online or something? What, how, how do you, how do you, um, came up with, okay, I'm going to buy a BPA 450, or I'm going to buy a BPA 500, or I'm going to buy a shoeing or a put smash. How do you end up with that decision? Well, actually, we didn't. Okay. Okay. Um, it was just uh, because we, honestly, we did not know a whole lot about machines. Right. Uh, we asked uh, the person that talked to us about it that was going to supply us with jobs, uh, what kind of rock, approximately. Um, he was going to use because of course we're starting from there and when Juan Pablo told us about this particular machine I was like okay so this is a good oh so you have found us already at that point you yes. already seen us online yes. and stuff like yes. that okay yes. that's understand. the first thing we did we, we okay. saw you guys online um, researched you know that portion and then uh, coming here we and we were supposedly uh, Somebody was going to help us with the process, and that person never appeared, so it, it all happened to be on us. Uh, the knowledge was limited, I'll tell you that, from our part. We are learning as we go. Of course. But it's very exciting because it's hands-on. You like that? I like that. I he's love he's that. good at that. Yeah, and he's good at that. <laughs> he, he, he's very, very good at that. Right. 
and um, it's just a, a, an opportunity to grow. Like I said, it's very lucrative and very a lucrative. big motivator. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so I remember we we delivered the machine to you guys, and the next morning we sent a concrete pumper, one of our guys, to help you out, and it was a disaster. <laughs> and we were so nervous. Isn't that cool, though? It was you, so you, you encountered the first day, you encountered the biggest problems with concrete pumping on the first day. The I think, I think, yeah, the plugs. <laughs> I mean, what else do you guys have? We One had of the plug. hoses. It was the hoses there. fell off the, the top. I mean, it, it was. It was intense. It was crazy. It was intense. Is there a lot of stress in this business? Oh yeah, sure. oh yeah. The the, the biggest um, teacher here, the biggest thing to learn that of course we didn't know is the life of the concrete is so short. And yeah, every day is of the essence. Yes. So that's a learning process. Um, the more we pump, because we did not get an operator, <laughs> right now we're not getting one. Operate and operator number two here. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we were, we feel more comfortable as we go. Right. Of course, the first couple of times it was Juan Pablo, what no, happened? No, no, no. <laughs> right, right, right. Calling us, right? No. Calling you every, you know, um, the support was great. It's still Good. great as we go. Appreciate that. Um, that's why I highly recommend you on my reviews. Because I appreciate that. We thank you for that. I thank Definitely. you guys every day, and uh, it's a learning process. But I think that we're getting there Good. with your help, and you know, just. We spent hours watching YouTube videos on how to operate concrete pumps. Concrete pumps. Okay, that was like the did, Saturday afternoon movie. You know, that's that's a new thing. A lot of people are looking for YouTube. Like every time I need to learn something, every time I need to to, to, to see something new that I don't know about, instead of reading, we just go to YouTube. You, you think YouTube is a is a powerful uh, tool absolutely, for you? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Been using it a lot. We've been using it a lot. We were not able to. Uh, I like what you guys do with. The explaining your machine because we were not able to find exactly a lot of the uh, uh, questions on our machine specifically or a lot of the uh, specific questions that we had. So thanks to the video, we you know that you guys did. Right, we right, have right, our right. Questions. Right, Juan Pablo did send you the video on the day of the job site, right? Yes, he did. Yes, okay. he did. Of the job, okay. Yes. So. Um, you asked me, are you happy? Yes. Yes, yeah. we're very happy. We're very happy. Like I said, it's, 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 uh, we didn't even have a truck. Now we, so you got a four now we have yeah. a truck, so we kind of like, I had to make space in my house for the machine nice. in the backyard so we can keep it. Now you're not going to have any leaks? Now we're not going to have any leaks on my pavers. Thank that's you. That's right. That's right. And uh, That's been like... So it's been, it's, been, it's been a fun process. It's been stressful, but at the same time, in regards to we not knowing anything about it, I think this yeah. is okay. Yeah. I, I agree. Um, the stress with this business is always going to be because of the concrete, as you were saying. Um, the concrete is going to dry it up pretty quick. So if you don't have all your ducks in a row, probably you're going to make a lot of mistakes and probably you're going to lose a little bit of money. But I guarantee you, you're not going to lose your head on this thing. You're not, you're not going to lose everything. Never. This business is very lucrative. If you're very responsible with your equipment, if you're responsible with your customers, if you treat them with respect, with the same respect that you want to be treated, you should be okay. You should be fine and you're gonna make a lot of money. I mean, it's gonna be shall. awesome. Yeah, you're gonna have, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be the lady from, 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 from was it? You used to work for the I mean, it's gonna be crazy. If you guys make it really good and you guys like explode this business and start buying a bunch of pumps, and in the future, somebody's gonna say, "So, so what do you used to do for a living?" Oh, I used to be in banking. How about you? No, I used to be in another different kind of land. How do you end up here? Is it, it? That's gonna be awesome. I think it's gonna be incredible. And I, I wish you guys the best. I think you guys are gonna do amazing. Thank amazing, you. Amazing. And we thank you every day for you know the service, the support, the knowledge. We try, we try. You guys are so knowledgeable. Uh, it, it, in, a, in, a, in our company, our main thing is culture, our soul, the soul of the company. We don't focus so much on sales. Selling is important, obviously, but it really comes after the fact of you servicing somebody correctly. The source, the soul of the company is not sell, 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 sell. The soul of the company is be 100% transparent with your customers. 
and always try to help them, give them, uh, give them uh, the means to defend themselves. They will take care of us in the future. And uh, that's kind of like a spread around our whole company. Everybody does the same. Everybody is worried about that one issue. Not necessarily sell, sell more, but more like take care of them. It doesn't matter what it costs. You guys just brought over a pump that was leaking in some areas, not every area. Harold called me and said, listen, I, I think they're gonna leak later. These other hoses are gonna leak later. They're starting to rot. We'll replace them all. So everything has to come from the bottom all the way to the top. I cannot be, oh no, no, replace some and don't replace some others. We spend almost $4,000 just in hoses with the valves and everything else. But we do it because we want to make sure that you're taken care of. We do it because we want to make sure that you come back in the future. We do it because we wish that that was, the, you know, somebody would do with us. Absolutely. So and that's, and that's the main thing. And that's why when we do, our, when we are ready to buy another pump, which we will, we're coming back to you. I appreciate that. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for this, for this interview. And you'll be seeing it online. I <laughs> appreciate it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Thank you so Thank much. You. It's been an absolute pleasure. Pleasure, pleasure helping you guys. All right. Thank you.